All right, everybody, uh, my next guest is the definition of beauty and brains. Uh, she's the reigning Miss USA, and she's an incredibly smart scientist also. Okay? So here to teach us about science, please welcome Kyra McCullough. Hello, darling, how are you? How are welcome, you? welcome. Uh, you're gonna teach us uh, about science today with some experiments, but first, a disclaimer for all of our viewers. Uh, don't try this at home. So as you can see, we have two different colors of balloons. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna first talk about is how sound waves move through different weights of gases. So these are floating in the air. What do you think's inside of them? Helium. Oh my gosh, yes it is. Okay, <laughs> okay. We know that helium is actually six times lighter than the air that we breathe. That is why it's able to float in the air. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually see how our voices change when we, when we inhale some of the helium. Okay. So, but what we're gonna do for these steps is take um, a deep breath, exhale as much air out of our lungs as possible, take off this clip and inhale the helium and start talking. Okay. Cool? Let's okay. do it together. All right. <sighs> and then we start talking like this. You can start talking now. Start talking. You start to start talking. I want to do some more things in mine. <laughs> Right. All right, there we go, boys. Come, come go. on back, bring boys. Back. Come on back. Yeah, bring, bring me on back. back. Bring it back. <laughs> so, so inside of this balloon is actually sulfur hexafluoride. This gas is actually six times heavier, as you can feel, than the air that we breathe, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, you better look out now. I'm done. Oh, oh, hell, I just scared myself. I want, where my damn voice at? Isn't that crazy? No, hell, okay, there it is. <laughs> I got concerned. I feel so to say, breathe, hold up. Breathe. That's pretty hot. I got to buy some of this. <laughs> so we're going to go to the next one. Go ahead and put your goggles on for aesthetics. That's what I'm going to do. We love them. We love goggles for aesthetics. Why not? Let's do it. Mess up my hair. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me go and rock mine. <laughs> so what we have right here is a circuit. And we know that circuits actually comes from the root word circa, meaning like a ring. So basically, we're going to explain how electricity is actually flowing through this circuit okay. to make this light bulb light up. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to close the circuit towards the light bulb to see what happens, okay? Yo, let me give my... What happened? What did you observe? I ain't see nothing. Right, that's my point. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to open it up. Now, we're gonna go in this wonderful jar of pickles. Pickles are actually sitting in a lot of solutions of salt. Therefore, it's a conductor of electricity. So, I'm gonna take my fingers and get a nice good one. <laughs> I know. So, don't act like y'all love pickles. So I'm gonna put this on, goggles on. All right, this time we're gonna close the circuit again towards the light bulb to see what happens. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> what just happened here, we were able to add a conductor of electricity, which is this pickle sitting in a lot of salts, basically sodium chloride. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna open it and turn it the other way and see what happens, okay? Just give it a second. Oh, there ain't nothing happening right now. <laughs> hey, the, the pickle is... It's fried pickle. What? Now we're gonna move on and keep having some more fun. Yeah. So, what we're gonna now talk about is how air responds to force. So inside, we're thinking it's empty, there's not much in here, but the air molecules that have taken the volume of this cannon are um, actually responding to the force of me beating the back of it, okay? So I'm gonna show you an example first. I'm gonna hang this right here because see how this thing, it moved, right? It's cut moving? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'll let you 
try a few, and then I'm gonna put this on top of my head, and you're gonna try to knock it off my head. With what? With that, because there's air coming out of it when you're applying force to it. So give it a few tries just to try it. Okay. Try it. <laughs> Great job. So you moved it. Yeah. So we're gonna put this on my head, and you're gonna try to knock it off of my head. Make sure it stays up here. Don't worry about that, I got you. Okay, great job. <laughs> We're gonna play a game this time. Okay. I'm gonna fill up this larger vortex cannon with some gas. With and some what? Just some, um, you know, water vapor, that's it. It's air, it's just oh, okay. gas, yeah, it's just air. And we're gonna now see how fast, or actually how far our air is traveling out here. Okay, I gotta take the time. You got, would you need to put some more in there? Yeah, let's put some more and you can put it on and try it too. So we're gonna try to knock off the hats and turn some pinwheels in the audience. Let me grab this over here so we're preserving everything. All right, all right, do the next one, do the next one, do the next one. Yeah, do the next one. This one right here? Yeah, and then put it on as fast as you can. Yeah, I gotta got get it in there first, baby. <laughs> Just let me do this here. You don't worry about this here. Try to knock off someone's hat in the audience. <laughs> Oh! No. <laughs> it's a little harder. <laughs> no! No! No, it's not hitting anyone there yet! He's like nice with it. <laughs> I got the sp I got the I street wind. I got everything going. I done knocked the hat off. You want to take this one? It's like getting loose the plastic. Ladies and gentlemen, it's USA. The rain. Give it up for Kyra, everybody. Yeah, if you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.